Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokémon Silver. Last time, we took a trip over to the ruins of Alf and uncovered part of the secret of the unknown, and we only caught one of them because we didn't have a lot of Pokéballs, because we didn't really have a lot of money. We've got more now, but I haven't gone and bought more Pokéballs because I am unprepared for things, apparently. But anyways, we also came up here to Sprout Tower and fought a whole bunch of monks, and uh, gained the hidden move Flash, which we can't really use outside of battle yet, and we don't really want to use it in battle yet, or at all, rather, because it's not a very good move. Like, it's... it... yeah, it lowers accuracy, which is pretty okay, but it itself has really bad accuracy. So, uh, not, not the greatest of moves, but anyways... Our first goal for this episode is to challenge the Violet City Pokémon Gym. That's that's all it says is the is the Violet City Pokémon Gym. It doesn't. It, these ones don't say who the leader is and who's kicked his ass before. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, uh, the trainers in this gym specialize in the flying type, and. Uh, yeah, as such, our Grass-type starter is not going to be doing so well against them. Which obviously means that I'm going to send her out first, because I'm a terrible person. Uh, let's, let's throw up a Reflect, see how well that works. Ow. And then let's throw leaves at it! I was gonna say, that was actually a lot more effective than I thought it would be, but it was a critical hit. That would be why. It all makes sense now! It's all coming up, Millhouse. Come on, get another crit! Or miss, that works too. Okay, fine, I'm switching to Shade. Mostly because I don't want to hear the incessant beeping for six years, and also I don't want Geraldine to die, because that would be not great. But Shade's got this. I mostly just wanted to get Geraldine some experience, but fine. I guess I'll just use Shade for the entire gym. I... Sigh. Let's go and find another trainer. Also... We've got a dollar sign in the middle for some reason. I don't really get why. The key word is guts! But yeah, I, I don't really understand what f money has to do with birds. But oh well. Anyways, time to eat things. Yay, we ate a thing. And, uh, I believe you have the exact same thing a second time. It might be a slightly higher leveled Pidgey, but it, it no, it's not. It's still level 7. And it's still a Pidgey, so it's, uh, it's not gonna be much of a problem. Huzzah! Gah! All right, and uh, yeah, that that those sure were the entirety of the trainers of this gym. Uh, before we fight the leader, I'm gonna go and heal because I want all of all two of my Pokemon to be in tip-top shape for the the gym leader fight. Even though I'm not gonna be using Geraldine probably at all. Hello there, sir. You uh, you you look like a stereotypical emo dude. And yet you are, uh, you specialize in flying type and not dark. Okay. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that would be pretty useful information if we had access to any electric types by this point. Ah, yes, the real power. Let me show you my real power. 
Oh my god, it's a Pidgey. It's another level 7 Pidgey! And is therefore probably gonna go down in two bites. Just like the other two level 7 Pidgeys I just ate. Hooray. And, uh, then he throws a curveball with Pidgeotto! Clearly, he, uh, he imported this Pidgeotto from Yellow, because it is level 9. And, uh, normally Pidgey doesn't evolve until level 18. But, uh, you can get, uh, level 7 Pidgeottos in Viridian Forest in Yellow. So, uh, that, why did I, why did I, why did I? Oh man, that's... Oh, come on! Confused no more nonsense. Get that nonsense out of my nonsense. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but, uh... Yeah, that's, uh... Kind of a problem with a lot of the gym leaders in Johto is that they... Don't really have many, uh, second generation Pokémon. Like, the first two can, uh, have exclusively first-generation Pokémon, which is... It doesn't really do a great job of, uh... demonstrating the, uh... the new Pokémon all that well. But anyways, we have defeated Faulkner... and gained the Zephyr Badge! Hooray! Yay, now we can use Flash. Woohoo. I guess that means we can explore Dark Cave a little bit, so, uh... I guess we might as well go and do that, actually. Mud Slap. Yeah, Mud Slap is, uh, not a good move. Like, yeah, it does damage in addition to lowering accuracy, but... I don't know, I would probably rather just use... You know, moves that actually do more damage than that. We discovered something about the egg. Is it that it's an egg and therefore hatches eventually? But yeah, we gotta go talk to his assistant in the Pokemon Center, which is just right over here. Hello. I'm gonna ignore you for a little bit and uh, talk to uh, Nurse Joy. Who may or may not actually be Nurse Joy. Because, yeah. But that's that's just what everyone refers to her as. Sure, I'll take the egg back. So yeah, this is the... The first introduction in the in the series to the concept of Pokemon eggs and the fact that you can walk around with them and hatch them. And uh yeah, it's it's a good time. So, I uh, can Ghastly learn Flash? I assume Ghastly can learn Flash. I probably should have gone with something that I know for sure can learn Flash. But uh let's Give this a try. Ghastly cannot learn Flash. Okay, fine. Screw you then, Ghastly. You know who can learn Flash? Well, aside from not Ghastly. Uh, Bellsprout can. Which is kind of weird, but I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah! Bellsprout learned Flash! Alright, let's uh, go ahead to Dark Cave. Oh yeah, something I haven't mentioned that yet is that uh, whenever a, uh, a day passes in-game, uh, all of the fruits, or all of the berries on the trees will respawn, so you can just get as many as you like as long as you play uh, for multiple days, which, why wouldn't you? 
I, it is possible to beat this game in a single day, but that's... I don't know. Anyways, Bellsprout. Floosh! Yay! Now we can go and get the one item that we couldn't reach before. Here's water. Sure is water. And it's a potion. Yep, totally worth it. And here's a rock. Yeah, we can't do anything about that rock yet. So, instead of doing anything about the rock that we can't do anything about, we're gonna... Oh, wait. What are we gonna do? Okay, so, against my better judgment, I have decided to come back to the ruins of Alf. Why, you may ask? To catch... Well, at least two more forms of unknown. I'm gonna save, because, uh, I've only got so many Pokeballs and I don't want to waste them all on unknown. Um, I am probably just gonna catch two for now. So, uh, I'll see you when we find a B. No, not a D. I realize that's what that sounds like, but it's not, it's not the same thing. A B? Yeah, that was actually the next, the very next one I found, so that's cool. Uh, you get leech lifed. Hopefully not to death. That was very close to death. Thank you for not running away, also. Alright, so... Can we catch this thing on the first ball? Sweet! I'm okay with this. And your name shall be... Benjamin. Again, I'm just going with the first... the first B name I, I think of. So, time to find a C. Eventually. Can I run into something, please? There we go. Thank you. There we go! Yeah, that, that may not look much like a C, but trust me, it is. Now, please don't die. Thank you. Now, please don't run away. Thank you. I probably should have saved before, uh, before attempting this. Because I, uh, would rather not waste Pokeballs. But, uh, hopefully this'll work in one? Thank you! Alright. And you are going to be... Christine! Because, yes. So, once we uh, exit the lower section here, after having caught three unknown, this guy shows up. Well, you see, there's a whole bunch of them down there. Many more, huh? Congratulations, yeah, that. Hooray! So, our Pokedex has now been upgraded. Uh, if we press select, we can select unknown mode. And, uh, yeah, it shows all three of the ones that we have caught so far. And it also shows a random word that, uh, starts with the letter of the unknown. Specifically, angry, bear, and chase. Wow. 
What is the meaning of this? Who knows? Okay, thanks. Well, technically there's only one kind, but... Uh. Oh! Yes, several of them. It's almost like there might be 26 of them! Anyways, uh, that's all we're gonna be doing here for now, because... Once again, I don't want to use all, all of my Pokeballs. Uh, I will be coming back here eventually? To get the remaining eight, I think, that are uh, currently available. And uh, that's gonna be before unlocking the, uh, the next batch of them, which I can't do yet for quite a while. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, out here on Route 35... I, no, not Route 35, this is Route 32, what am I, what am I saying? If we talk to this gentleman here... He will give us the Miracle Seed! Now, you might think that, uh, he gives you a, uh, type-boosting item based on what, uh, starter you picked. No, it's, it's just always the Miracle Seed. So, uh, if you pick Cyndaquil or Totodile, you're kinda SOL for a little bit. In terms of that, at least. But we're, uh, gonna give this right on over to Geraldine. And, uh, we should also probably switch her to the front now that I'm thinking about it. And, um, before we do anything else, I'm actually gonna go and heal and also deposit my, uh, my unknowns and also Bellsprout. Just realized that I completely passed by this berry tree here. It gives us a Purs Cure Berry, which, uh, cures paralysis, but in the form of a berry. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, down here, there are four new Pokémon that are available to us, one of which is unfortunately only available at night time. But, uh, we're just gonna be catching them, because, yeah. Catching the first three, that is. And here's, uh, here's one right now, it's Ekans! Uh, Ekans... It's, it's a snake. It's a poison type. It's not particularly noteworthy in any way. I'm... I think it has a pretty good attack stat? A physical attack, that is. But, uh... I don't think it uh, really get, gets a very wide variety of moves. So... I don't know. Can't say I'd particularly recommend it. Ekans, the snake Pokémon. It always hides in grass. When first born, it has no poison, so its bite is painful, but harmless. How is it painful? It doesn't even look like it has teeth. Yes, Joey? How can I help you? They don't move! The only way you could possibly lose to a Kakuna is if you struggle yourself to death. Or if it struggles you to death somehow. Whatever. Next! No, not rat! It's a shippy! Mareep is one of my favorite Pokémon from this generation, and as much as I would love to use this thing, A, I already used it in, a, in uh, XD, and B, I'm currently using one in uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wonder Verses with Icabagon, which, by the way, you should go check that out. It's on, it's on his channel. I'll link to it in the description. Now that I'm now that I'm done plugging other people's stuff, let's uh, catch let's catch a sheep. Hey, excuse me. But yeah, Mareep is uh, fairly different from your typical electric type in that it's rather slow. But uh, I, as f from what I can remember, it makes up for that with a very large special attack stat, so that's, uh, it's, it's a pretty good choice. 
Most most people seem to like this thing, and for good reason. Mareep, the wool Pokémon. Its fleece grows continually. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. Cool. But yeah, I'm not going to be using Mareep, unfortunately, because it is very, very cute. And very good, and stuff. Hello, Ekans. You're also fairly cute in your own way. I, I guess. But uh, you are not the thing that I'm looking for. Here we go! It's Hopip! My god, this thing is cute! And unlike most things, it actually stays that way throughout its entire evolution line. This is a, uh, a trait that is shared with Mareep, thankfully. But yeah, um... Un unlike Mareep, Hopip is, uh... Not a very good Pokemon. It learns, like, no moves. No offensive moves, that is. It gets Synthesis to heal itself, so that's good. But, uh, it's entire move pool is basically just support. I think the only attacking move it ever gets is Mega Drain, which itself is not very good. It's only 40 power. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Future Nick will confirm or deny. But, uh, yeah. That's... We, we got it. Yay. Hopip, the Cottonweed Pokémon. Its body is so light it must grip the ground firmly with its feet to keep from being blown away. How does it grip the ground with those feet? They're just nubs! I, I don't get it. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go and deposit those, but before I do I should mention that uh, Ekans is not available in gold, and, uh, excuse me, Mareep is not available in silver. Goo Er, crystal. Not available in crystal. Okay, looks like it's time to actually make progress on this route. Uh, like I said, there is one additional thing that's only available uh, in the morning and nighttime, and that is Wooper, which, again, I'll be catching off screen, as you're seeing right now, I'm sure. Um, yeah, Whoop Whooper's cute. It's, it's like, the happiest Pokémon ever, despite having no arms. And, uh... At the time of this game, it had the distinction of being the only water type that was immune to electric uh, electric -pick -pick -pick, uh, electric moves. And uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty good uh, a pretty good quality to have, I would say. Unfortunately, its ground typing means that it is four times weak to grass. So. Uh, yeah, don't don't send it out against grass types. You will you will die, a horrible, painful death. Um, something else about Wooper is that uh, again, it's only available in the morning or nighttime. But if you're looking for it in the morning, good luck because it's only uh, got a four percent encounter rate. So uh, you'd you'd be better off trying to do so at nighttime. Excuse me. Mr. Bat. First name Zoo. I'm gonna switch to my own Mr. Bat first name Zoo. Because, uh, I, I would rather not be confused. I would also rather not have Leech Life be super effective against me. And luckily, Shade Curve. I was gonna say he currently checks off both of those boxes, but that is no longer the case. Rude. Excuse me! Shade! Can we, can we, can we, can we bite the other bat, please? Yes, good, good, very good, thank you, yes. Not to be confused with thank you next, which is a very different thing. Alright, 
let's move on now, shall we? Over this way, we've got a freaking encounter. Over this way, we've got a potion. I definitely thought that was a, a more exciting item than it actually was. And we get another encounter without moving! Okay, so, let's, uh, get into a battle with, uh, this girly over here. Yes, yes. It's Picnic Liz, and she's got one singular Pokemon, and it's a Nidoran female. Nidoran female is another one of my favorites from Gen 1, along with Nidoran male. I've used both of them a large number of times, because they're, they're just, like, really good all-around Pokemon. Like, they, they learn a huge variety of different types of moves, which is kind of weird, because you'd... Usually they reserve that type, that kind of, uh, type variety for, like, normal type Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, they, they gave him, gave it to these things as well, and I'm okay with that, because they're, they're good and stuff, and yeah. Words are hard sometimes. Anyways. Let's, uh, move on our merry way here. And, uh, the path branches right here, I will probably be taking both of them at some point. And by at some point, I mean, like, rather shortly. But I'm gonna be going on this one first because it's full of water types! Because there's a whole bunch of fishermen's. Yes, fishermen's. And, uh... Polywag here looks like it's about to pee on me. And shoot bubbles out of its foot. I'm not gonna even pretend to understand how that works. But yeah, everything here will be, uh... Pretty easy work for... Our leaf thrower here. Not to be confused with a leaf blower, which, uh, they, to my knowledge, they have not yet made a leaf blower Pokémon. Maybe that's gonna be one of the new ones in Generation 8. SPLASH?! Question mark? But yeah, we've got, we've got Fishermans. Again. Oh god, this guy's gonna have four Magikarp, isn't he? Yep. That's a flop flop. Big old floppy fish. Alright, how many Magikarps is it gonna take for Geraldine to level up? If I recall correctly, he's got a level 5, two 10s, and a 15. Well, it looks like it's only gonna take one more, probably. <laughs> well, he outsped me and then did absolutely nothing about it. Congratulations, Magikarp. Yay! I was about to say, when's Geraldine gonna learn another move, but she just learned Reflect, like, last episode, I think. Oh, missing? Come on, now. We had enough of that earlier, during the fight with the gym trainer. And, uh, level 10? Level 10? Level, level 5. Okay, three fives and a 15. No 10s involved. I was half right? Yeah? Alright, so I think this is the fisherman we want to talk to later? No, it's this one. It's not either of them! Excellent! What about you? Are you the one that I want to talk to after battling you? I feel like that's a solid maybe. Fisher Ralph. 
Hooray, you've got a water type that's actually... Well, I was gonna say good, but... Uh, I've... <laughs> that's not exactly accurate. It's not useless? It's got peck, apparently, so it can somewhat deal with opposing grass types. Emphasis on the somewhat in this case. Alright, so, if we talk to- MOM! Well, Mom bought us a thing, so that's- that's nice of her, I guess. Yes. Here we go, so... Uh, if you register Fisherman Ralph in your Poke Gear, he will occasionally call you, uh, to say that, uh, there will be a... A mass outbreak in the area of a Pokemon called Quillfish. Um, so, yeah, you'll want to head over here as, as quickly as possible to nab one of those. We can't actually do anything about that currently because we don't have a means of catching Pokemon in the sea. But, uh, yeah, well, that, that'll come soon enough. But, uh, I think that's gonna be it for this part. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver. We are going to travel further down Route 32 and uh, see what lies beyond there, here, and everywhere. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Wooper, the water fish Pokemon. When it walks around on the ground, it coats its body with a slimy, poisonous film.